Hi guys, welcome to our intermediate and advanced training session. Um, hopefully it's a welcome back. Ideally you've been through the beginner's session, got through that, maybe even done it a couple of times, started to find that that was a little bit easier and you wanna, you wanna see what the next level's like. So what we're gonna do, we've got the same two superstars here, Iris and Chris. The difference is this time, Iris is gonna stick with one y bell and she's gonna go through the intermediate version of this session. Chris is on two y bells He's, he's going to be doing the advanced version, okay? So the exercises themselves and, and the combination of exercises are a little bit harder. So even with the one y bell, this is going to feel a lot harder than the beginner session. Ideally, not too much harder, but just that next level up to intermediate. You start working with two y bells, we're definitely talking advanced. So you might want to play between the two of them. We're going to do two rounds, same structure, 45 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So we're going to go into our warm-up now. So we're going to use the same video warm-up as we did for the beginner session. It's the same warm-up we do before every session. Okay, so you're going to get very good at that warm-up. You'll know it by heart. You won't need to watch us doing it. But um, let's just go into that again. Let's go. So we're just going to start off and go shoulders around. Nice big circles, nice big movements. Good, and forwards. So just think about relaxing the whole body here. Everything's nice and relaxed. We're working on breathing. Nice big breaths in, nice big breaths out. Let's go into the hips. So hands over on the lower back. Nice big circles here through the hips. Try and engage the tummy nice and early as well. So switching on those core muscles. Other way, nice big circles. And again, always thinking about that breathing. Nice big breaths in, nice big breaths out. Let's go to the knees. We've got feet together, knees together, a little bend. And we're just doing little circles with the knees now. Looking for around sort of 10, one way. Let's go the other way. Around 10 this way. Good, okay, just shake the legs out. Let's go one arm around. So nice big circles backwards. So we're gonna to start to get the heart rate up a little bit more now. We keep that breathing going. Other side backwards, loosening up through the hips a bit here as well, so we're moving the whole body a bit. Good, going back into the hips now. So we're just gonna do a twist, tap that front shoulder, and make sure we're shifting the weight between our feet. So we're lifting one foot off the ground as we spin around. And really trying to Open up that upper body as well. So pull the shoulder back. Good, okay. From here, we've got one knee. So we're in a squat stance, feet hip width apart. Drive one knee up into the shoulder. And we're trying to use these stomach muscles to get the leg lifting. So we're really trying to engage these tummy muscles. Other side. Get quite explosive if you can to get that knee coming up to that same shoulder. Good, from there just a little skipping movement. So, feet it together, drop the shoulders down, and just pretend you've got a skipping rope here. And now we can really focus on the breathing. Nice big breaths in, nice big breaths out. Good, okay, from there we're gonna take our right leg back, push the heel back onto the ground, and we're gonna do some straight leg kicks. So, kicking this leg up, and bring it back down. So we want to work on stability here. Try and really stabilize through this front leg and explode on the way up. Good, from there just changing. So get into that position first, back heel on the ground, pop up. We're trying to keep a quite a straight leg. The leg that we're kicking up is staying quite straight or as straight as you can. So we're working through the back of that leg using the tummy muscles to get that kick coming up, good. From there, we're gonna go heels to bum. So just flicking the heels up. Let's get the arms working a little bit as well. Again, back into that breathing. Big breaths in, big breaths out. Good, okay, shake it up. So we're gonna warm the legs up a little bit here. We're gonna go down into a low squat. So feet hip width apart, Let's get as deep as you can comfortably sit. Ideally, bums right down around 
close to the ground as we can. From here, we're going to do a little half squat. Just start getting some blood into these legs. Get the muscles warmed up a bit more. Good. From here, we're going to crawl out. Okay. Once you get out, really tighten up the tummy. Now we're going to do one push-up. Come up and crawl back. Like so. Good. Now we're going to do some frog squats. So elbows in between the knees, hands together. We're going to flick the bum up and straighten the legs and come back down. And again, so just in your own time, we're looking to really increase that range of movement, especially through the back of the legs in the stretch here. Good. And then we're going to crawl out again. Set the stomach nice straight positioning here through the shoulders, the hips and the knees. Step the right foot up. And we're keeping a nice straight back leg. Take that foot back, other side. Remember to breathe, take it back. Other side again. Take it back, other side again. Good, okay, make sure your feet are hip width apart. Bend the legs as you crawl back. So we end up in that nice deep squat and then just standing up. Good, okay, so we're ready to go. Okay, so exercise one, guys, is a cross halo. Let's go. So outer handle, catch it in that double grip, bring it around, and drop it down to the other side of the body. <sighs> catch it in the double grip. So we're going from outer grip to double grip, halo, back down to the other side. Cross the body, and back down across the body. Just think about the grips. Outer grip, double grip, halo, back down across the body. It's a nice one to get started on. We're really getting to loosen up that whole upper body. Just a little bit more progression than we did in the beginning version of just halos. We're bringing in a few more muscle groups here. A little bit more coordination needed as well. But you'll get these pretty quickly. Okay, down we go there. Next exercise is going to be a kettlebell rack squat and press. Okay, so the rack as hopefully you already know, is up here. It's a kettlebell movement, okay? So if you're doing advanced, you're going to pick up one. If you're doing, uh, you're going to pick up two. If you're doing intermediate, you're going to pick up one. And let's go. So we squat and we press. And look for that little rotation when you press. So my palms are facing inwards and then they're facing outwards when I press up. Keep that breathing going. We've got 20 more seconds to go. Make sure you've changed sides now. Sorry, change sides if you're doing one wide bell. So we're going to work for 20 seconds on one side. If you're only doing one. Otherwise, it's the full 45 seconds if we're doing both. Good, down we go. Now you'll see that 20 seconds break comes into its own because the heart rate's already up. So we've got high swings now with the kettlebell, with the Y bell, so kettlebell high swings. Single-handed, alternating, otherwise doubles. And let's pick them up. If you're doing doubles, your feet are together, palms facing behind you. Load back and unload. If you're doing singles, we're gonna work for the full 45 seconds, doing those high swings as well. If you can, remember, if you need to, you're going to take a little break. You might decide, I'm only going to do 35 seconds and I'm going to have a 35 second break. It's up to you. See what you can get out here. Remember, we are an intermediate and advanced level now, so we do want to see what we can get out of our bodies. And down we go. Nice. Okay. From there, we've got alternating push-ups. Okay, so working on one Y bell, and we're going to start with our push-up, and then we're going to walk across. So from this position, you can do the push-up on your knee as well if you need to, on your knees. So let's go. We do our push-up, and then we've got to walk across and do our other push-up. 
and walk across. So this is the same for intermediate as it is for advanced. All of the single y bell exercises in this workout today are both intermediate and advanced. Remember, what you can do here is drop to the knees to do the push-up. Pop up onto the toes to do the walk across. Knees for the push-up, toes to walk across. Or you just try to stay up on the toes the whole time. This walk across is very important, how you switch your hands. You need to stabilize here and then come across. Good, up we get. Whew, hopefully feeling that a little bit. Towel off if you need to. Okay, we've got dumbbell twist curls. So, middle handle or center grip, top lock, palms are facing in towards you and towards your hips, and let's go. We're just twisting as we come up. So we end up in a perfect bicep curl, but we're starting in this hammer curl position where the wrists are facing into your hips. If this starts to get hard, you can swing them up a little bit. You can use a bit of loading through the hips like you would for a kettlebell swing. Not quite as much, but a little bit. Otherwise, we want to really work on stabilizing through the hips and just really trying to isolate these upper arm muscles. Five seconds to go. Oh, sorry, Ice, did you change? Oh, nice. Okay, rest in there. So, sorry, that was a change on 20 seconds. I'll make sure I tell you next time. Okay, we've got dumbbell squat and press this time. So it'll be 20 seconds on one side for intermediate, then 20 seconds on the other side. Both weights for 45 seconds for advanced. So loose grip, up onto the shoulders, and let's go. We squat and we press. Squat and press. Squat and press. Keep going from side on. We're looking to get that same depth that we get in all of our squats. This time, we've got double the weight though, so you're gonna feel that intensity starting to climb. Keep going, we've got 15 more seconds. Find your own tempo. If you need to stop and take a break, then do it. This is probably the first time you've tried this session. There's plenty of time to progress and down we go, resting there. We're going into a mid ball exercise now. Good thing is it's only one weight, it's underhand grip, but we're using one leg. So we're gonna do a low lunge into a full lunge. So, underhand grip here, I'll do it side on so you can see. We're gonna take one leg back, we're gonna do a low lunge and then stand. Other leg back, low lunge and stand. Think of this doing a half lunge, half down, up. All the way down, halfway up, down, up. Up, down, up. Halfway up, down, all the way up. Keep going, 20 seconds to go. Perfect underhand grip here. Both the intermediate and the advanced are working at the same intensity level here. So feel free to put these down if you need to. Okay, everyone's favorite, burpees. So if you've got two Y bells, your feet are hip width apart as if you're about to squat. We've got a little angle facing inwards like an A-frame. If you've got one, you're just gonna do all your burpees on one side, just like our one-sided push-ups. Big breaths in, let's go. Try and get nice and deep, little jump and clap. Try and stay light on your feet. And keep the breathing going. Changing sides if you're on one Y bell. Okay, so remember if you're on one, you're only gonna work through one side of the body for 20 seconds, like so. Try and get down to the bell handle first, and then Dropping for your burpee. Five more seconds. Perfect, Chrissy. 
Nice, okay, ninth exercise. Still a single wide bell now for both. Cross catch squat. So like in the beginners where we did a cross and a catch with a press, this time we're gonna do a cross with a catch but with a squat. So picking it up, outer grip, feet hip width apart, cross the body, catch the middle handle, and now we squat and bring it back. Cross catch and a squat. Bring it back. Cross catch and a squat. Whew. Remember how we place this bell down here, okay? So we don't let it swing back, we holster it. Good, okay, other side. So from side on, cross catch, squat, and I'm gonna row it in and holster it down the side of my leg. Row it in, holster it down. What I don't wanna do is swing it and swing it. Okay, that's no good. We wanna gently bring it down and then explode up. Okay, down we go. Okay, Chrissy's gonna go to intermediate now, so he's only gonna use one. Oris is gonna jump to both and step up to the advance. You could do the same thing. You could switch, chop and change for each round. We're gonna do another full round and then you'll have the option to carry on, push pause or carry on. So we've got cross halos, single wide bow, let's go. Remember, outer grip to double grip, halo back down to the other side. We catch it, we catch that wide bow up here in front of the opposite shoulder. We do our halo and we holster it back down. Catch, roll it in and holster. So we're actually using a lot of this arm muscle here to get the weight up here. Then we halo it, we bring it into that shoulder and we drop it down. Catch and around. And this whole diagonal chain is working like so. 10 seconds to go. Nice, and down we go. Okay, so advanced, two Y bells, 45 seconds, dumbbells, uh, kettlebell, rack squat press, 20 seconds each side for Chrissy. I'll do a 20 second version, so an intermediate version. Iris is on the advanced. Let's get into the rack. Let's go, we've got a rack squat with a press. So from here, explode up. Remember, we're looking for this rotation in the shoulder. So palms facing my chin here, or cheek, and then palms facing straight ahead when I press it overhead. Good, from here we're gonna change to this side and go straight in and try and hit that same amount of reps as we just got on the other side. Remember, we're looking for that perfect squat here, nice and compact, drive up, when you press, that weight's got to go straight above your shoulder. Okay? And down we go. Okay. High swings. So we've got Iris doing the double high swings. Chrissy Flair is just going to be doing alternating high swings, similar to the low swings, but we're going to catch the weight up here. Remember, what we're going to do is catch this handle that presents itself. So let's go. We load and we catch that handle there. So we don't let go of the handle we've got until we've got hold of the other handle. So we're going from outer handle to outer handle. Now I'm not using my arms to swing this. I'm using this hip movement where I push my bum back and thrust forward. That's what you need to work on here. Keep going, bum goes back and I thrust forward here with as much power as I can. And that's what's moving this weight. Okay, keeping the weight quite high up to the crutch here. What I don't want to do is drop it down here and bend through my lower back. It stays here and I push my bum back so that we can fit that through. 20 second break. Okay, alternating push-ups. There's only one version of these. We're all doing the same one. It's a single wide bell exercise. See if you can do it on your toes. Remember, knees if it's a bit easier. Let's go. So we push, we step across. Drop, drive, step across. Drop and drive, step across. Drop and drive, step across. So we're looking for a bit of resistance on the way down, then we power up. Tighten up through the tummy, 
so that we're working all of those core muscles at the same time here. And think about stepping hand and foot across at the same time. So from here, opposite hand, opposite foot, and then opposite hand, opposite foot. So we're coming all the way over to one side of the Y bell. We're bringing the whole body over to one side. And resting there. Towel off if you need. Okay, we've got a nice one now, twist curls. Remember if you're doing one, 20 seconds on one side, palms facing in to start, then we twist it around. Top lock, so that top handle's locked to the inside of the wrist, and let's go. It's a good chance to really focus on the breathing now. These arm muscles, they're much smaller than the leg muscles. They require a lot less blood to get them working, but they will burn out quite quickly. So we're here, we're looking for more muscle tone, high rep sort of stuff, just to make sure that we're keeping this heart rate up around where we want it. For the legs, it's gonna jump up anyway. This is more of a muscle endurance focus here. Just trying to fight through that burn. We've got five seconds to go. Good, and down they go. Sorry, Chrissy, did you change over there? <laughs> That's why I got the pros in the back. Um, dumbbell squat and press. So middle handle, loose grip. We sit them on our shoulders. 45 seconds for advanced, 20 seconds each side for intermediate. Perfect triangle, let's go. We squat and we press. So this is a dumbbell exercise. So naturally we've got the center grip. And if you're only using one, you should really be focusing on sitting this weight on the shoulder. Good, over to the other side because if you can't sit this shoulder, this weight on the shoulder when you're using two, you're not gonna get through these exercises, okay? What you don't wanna be doing, keep going. What you wanna avoid is having the weight there in front of the shoulder. We need to sit it back here on the shoulder. Good, resting there. Medicine ball, we've got our back lunge. Alternating back lunge, but remember we've got a low lunge with it. So it's a low lunge, back lunge. Okay, so we've got our under grip. Only one Y bell here. Three more seconds. Let's go, we lunge back, halfway up, down, all the way up. Other side, halfway up, down, all the way up. Halfway up, down, up, all the way down. Then we go halfway up, then down, all the way up. Halfway up, down, all the way up. So it's not just a little pulsing movement at the bottom here. It's not just that. It's actually the start of a lunge. Then we go down before we stand all the way up. So we start our lunge, we drop back down, and then we do our full lunge. It's more like a half lunge into a full lunge. Half lunge into a full lunge. Burpees. Iris is doing both. So she's gonna get those weights the same width apart as her feet would be if they were squatting. Okay? Chrissy's gonna do 20 seconds on one side. And let's go. Try and get down nice and low. So bend your legs, push your bum back. And then we look to drop down and use that upper body to work through that full range of push-up. Fifteen to go. You can always do the push-up on your knees or lie your whole body on the ground when you're doing burpees, if you need to. Otherwise, try and hover just off the ground. Okay, cross-catch squat. So, single Y bell. Start in this outer grip. We're gonna catch it in that dumbbell loose grip 
and we're going to squat all on one side for 20 seconds. Let's go. One. Two. If you're not counting your reps at the moment, don't worry. In time, you will not be able to not count your reps. It's just going to come natural. And once you are doing that, it's going to give you good targets. Let's do the other side. So if you counted that side, you now know exactly what you're going for in this side. And these cross catch movements, whether it's a press or a squat, are the perfect step up to making sure you're getting that weight sitting on top of the shoulder. Okay, that's two rounds. You're now, if you're feeling all right, you're gonna hit in the third round, okay? That's gonna be a 30 minute workout. Push pause, restart, refocus, and go for it. Otherwise, just go straight in, see, if you, see how you go with those three rounds. 